Well, we have had great weather lately, almost a cloudless sky today, almost. Let's check in with Scott because big, long, thin clouds out there, I guess. That's right, and that's really what they are. They are clouds. There's moisture up there in the sky. Contrails, and we had a lot of those around today. The conditions have to be right in the atmosphere for contrails to form, and their condensate Contrails stand for condensation trails. In other words, when a jet airliner goes by, the exhaust that comes out, all the moisture that's uh, one of the byproducts of what's coming out of the exhaust there from the combustion of the engine and the turbulence behind the jet plane causes these clouds to form. You have all this hot moisture coming out. It's cooled by the atmosphere around it, which is many times 40 degrees below zero. It's real cold up there. It cools it and a cloud forms. Usually when the air is dry, that cloud forms and it's so dry that it just dries it out and you don't even see a contrail. But when you have enough moisture in the atmosphere, but it's not forming any regular clouds, you add that extra moisture from planes going by, jets going by, and you'll get these condensation trails. So here's a picture of lots of content condensation trails. And here you see how it forms here. The moisture comes out of the back of the engine, takes just a moment for the atmosphere to really cool that, and then you get the cloud forming behind it. And uh, here's one showing the streak disappearing. Here's the jet right here. Because the atmosphere is fairly dry, the, the streak is shorter and it disappears. Today, we had a good deal of moisture in the atmosphere, plus a lift in the atmosphere, air rising, the sign that there's warmer air coming in, which is happening, and it tends to hold the contrails from dissipating. So here's a satellite picture showing all kinds of jet contrails here in the Gulf of Mexico. This satellite picture shows them all over the place. These are all contrails. Notice the moisture. Here's some high clouds, this little gray area. Area here. So as the moisture moves in, you have enough moisture to form regular clouds here, not enough moisture for clouds on the periphery, on the edges here, but the extra moisture from the jet planes tends to form those trails. And if the jet stream is blowing strong, those trails will tend to shear. I want to show you a time lapse from today. Watch these two contrails form. When we put this into motion here, they're going to come by here uh, from right to left. Watch these two. They're thin at first, but watch it start to spread on out here as the jet stream, stronger winds aloft are blowing and shearing that cloud and so it gets a little bit wider. We'll look at it one last time as it moves on through and so if the winds in the atmosphere are blowing stronger aloft, it tends to shear these apart and you can get a veil of cloud cover much like what you're seeing here. A lot of these are contrails that were older and then are shearing apart and making long thin cirrus clouds. So Roland, it happens a lot. Yeah. A lot of times we just don't notice it. Just the right circumstances today. Perfect, the perfect fact. circumstances. All right. Thanks Scott.